Good morning. It's turned out nice again. Mother, how's it going, guys? You all right? Today's my first day back at my desk since I was in Murica. I got back on Thursday, uh, and I've just about woken up now. Honestly, Friday, Saturday, I slept in till midday, which is not me. Normally, I'm up at like half five, six in the morning. Uh, but I feel all right now. Uh, a bit tired, but we'll be all right. Thanks to those of you that came along to Saturday night steaming, a uh, streaming. Uh, but thanks to those of you that, uh, you know, participated, came along, those of you that bothered to turn up, because I know some of you are watching the rugby, you're very selfish. Uh, so, yeah, it was a good night, and I appreciate those of you that supported the stream, as ever. Lots of fun, I enjoyed it totally. Um, we're going to talk about Victor Osimhen uh, and Fabrizio Romano, he's chimed in. Uh, now, Osimhen, I think he's got a couple of years left on his contract, relations are probably not the best with his club, uh, Napoli. Um... I think his release clause is probably up in the, like 120, or something like 120 million pounds. I think that is. Uh, Liverpool keep being mentioned with him. Uh, he is arguably, you know, one of the best strikers uh, in the world. Um, do I believe any of the chatter uh, linking Liverpool with him? Yeah, I do a bit actually, um, but only like very, 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 very weakly. And what I mean by that is, I don't think Liverpool are trying to sign him. I don't think Liverpool. Uh, have had any uh, advanced talks or anything like that. There's been claims that you, I'm sure you've seen while I've been, uh, you know, recovering or travelling or whatever, you've, you, you might have seen claims that um, personal terms and, you know, a contract's been agreed with Liverpool. I don't believe that. I think that's what um, Fabrizio Romano is, is going to say in these comments if you've not seen them yet. Um, I, I don't believe that. I don't believe that there's anything in place. Uh, along those lines. I think it originated from an Italian journalist. I forget his name. You know, I've got a memory like a sieve, uh, but I don't think he's, he's that important. And um, But I do think that Liverpool might just be making some like little discreet inquiries, you know, back-channeling, you know, like uh, what would it cost to, to make it happen if, you know, th this is what we would be willing to, you know, to offer kind of thing. And I think that's what has then spark the suggestions that you know personal terms have been agreed because someone's probably behind the scenes has said you know oh yeah Liverpool have offered this and yes yeah, you know it's it's kind of all right and then by the time it's got to that journalist it's like oh it's happening you know so I genuinely do think that there is some um, uh, some genuine interest uh, you can look at the the valuation of the player and say do we even need him um, but, you know, you've got to think about what might happen next year in terms of, you know, more Salah. As Fabrizio Romano himself would shout and ball, more Salah. Well, have you ever seen any of his videos with Fabrizio Romano when he talks about more Salah? Anyway, so I think there's some truth in Liverpool maybe saying, well, what kind of like personal terms would you be looking for? But I don't think Liverpool uh, have done anything more than that other than you, know, you just do a bit of sniffing kind of thing and we like a bit of sniffing girls you know what I'm saying uh, so well depends who you are so Fabrizio said some media is reporting that Victor Osman already agreed contract terms with Liverpool guys from what I'm told Victor Osman hasn't agreed anything with any club not even with Napoli there's no agreement on the contract extension Napoli made a really important proposal to Osman in terms of contract. Very important salary, the biggest in Napoli history, is on the table for Osman. But he has decided, sorry, he has not decided and he has not agreed anything with any club. So Osman will take his time. Reports of an agreement with Liverpool are not true, uh, not true, sorry, uh, for sure, he says here for sure, Rafa says for sure, didn't he? Here for sure. Uh, for sure, Liverpool and many other clubs are keeping an eye on the situation of many strikers. But at the moment for Ossiman, nothing is agreed and nothing is decided. Um, so he is also saying there that Liverpool are keeping an eye on the situation uh, regarding him, but also uh, multiple you know, options, multiple uh, possibilities. Uh, and I do believe that. But I think you might see some of the click of Liverpool Jersey saying, oh, it's not needed, you know. Um, but I, I'm not so sure about that. You know, I think Liverpool are uh, looking at these uh, potential uh, reinforcements in attack. Uh, it would be stupid to, to suggest differently, I think. But again, while there may be a little bit of like, a little bit of communication behind the scenes, 
just preliminary inquiries and things, I, 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 I wouldn't you know, imagine that Liverpool would have done anything more than that at the current time. So I just thought I'd bring that to your attention because I'm sure you've seen, uh, you know, some claims, you know, suggesting that we've actually agreed, uh, you know, a contract with him. Uh, and my opinion, for what it's worth, uh, is that that uh, isn't the case. Okay, guys, uh, I hope you're okay. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please thumbs up the video. Please leave me a comment. That's the most important thing because uh, I like to see what you guys are thinking. And uh, if you really you like like the video, you can hit that love out, uh, the super thanks thing, and uh, or join the channel or do whatever you want. Uh, just good to be back with you guys. Really, I've missed you. I've missed the day to day things. It's nice to get away and you know see friends and things like that. Uh, but. This is my passion, you know, coptalk.com, uh, this is this website behind me, uh, is my passion. And uh, I genuinely, genuinely, genuinely uh, miss you guys and interacting with you. So I'm looking forward to your comments uh, today. Please keep the comments coming, guys. They're very important to me. All right, guys, I'll speak to you in a bit. All right.